What up, guys? I've been dying to do an album review of this album. It's been a while since I've uploaded, and I have no excuse for it. Actually, yes, I, I have. I feel like shit. I felt like shit for a week. It's probably the worst I've ever felt in the week, but I gotta get a video out, and I have no fucking energy, so... This might be a dull video, but I'll try to spice it up a little bit with maybe some, like, CDs. Because I just picked the CD up, maybe like a week ago. And, it, and like, this is the album I'm doing a review on. It's uh, Black Sabbath's Heaven and Hell album. I know a lot of people that hate this album. I know a lot of people that hate it. I didn't know if I would like it until I picked it up and listened to it. That's why I bought a broken, beat-up copy. I didn't know if I would like it. And, turns out, I do like it. It's one of my favorite Ozzy albums. Uh, uh, no, uh, Ozzy. It's, only, it's the first one without Ozzy and Black Sabbath, which is one of their best albums, in my opinion. Um, If not the best, because... Yeah, it's the best album that they've ever done. And a lot of people are going to hate me for saying the Heaven and Hell album is the best album ever that Black Sabbath ever created. But, Ronnie James Dio's in it. It's great. I prefer, I usually go for Ozzy Osbourne over Dio because... Let's face it, the last, uh, the, the second Dio album sucks. It's terrible. I, I mean, I was going to do a review on that maybe down the road. I'm going to try to do an album review every single day now. So, that might be a thing. I might do an album review every single day after I get home from school, maybe in the morning. I don't, I don't know. I might do an album review in the morning. But, I got, it's just great, the album's just wonderful, it's got Children of the Sea, which is probably the best song that Tony Iommi ever pitched in for the riffs for, is, I literally, have, he's the riff master, he's the master of riffs, and he created the Children of the Sea, the Heaven and Hell, Lady Evil, everything on this album is just great stuff. Neon Knights starts it off with a hard-hitting song, and it goes to more of a uh, slowed down, and then a hard-hitting, and then slowed down, and then a... Uh, Ronnie James Dio hitting his classic lookout type. He, he says that. It's literally crazy what how he can get that to be interesting in this album. Like... Most people think it would be stupid for him to say that, but, like, is how he says it makes it, like, yeah, it's so good, it's so hard-hitting, it's such a great album. And I just don't agree with everybody that says it's a terrible album. I give this one an 11 out of 10 easily. It's over, over and above the rating scale of anything. It's probably one of the best albums ever, like... It's one of the best albums ever created. Any musician. This is probably the hidden gem of, like, any album. There. And then Mob Rules came in. I'll do a review on Mob Rules. Probably not today. Probably I'll do it, uh, probably do the reviews on the, uh, other Sabbath albums. Like, I'll try to make a schedule of what albums I'll do a review of in my collection. It'll go all over the place. There'll be, like, maybe a... Bon Jovi album one day, Metallica the next day, Cannibal Corpse another day, Morbid Angel. It'll just go all over the place. But I'm going to make a list of all the albums I have and keep crossing them off until I get to the final finale of the albums and try to give you some more content. So, that's it. That's my album review on this. And sub for more content from me. Okay, I'll be seeing you guys.